Hi. Okay, so it has been a long while since I've recorded anything. And I keep telling you all and myself I'm going to get better. And gradually I will. Life has been very overwhelming for me for a long while but the past few months it's really catching up um, with me hard sorry I'm on a walk right now it's a little breezy where I'm at uh, I don't want to say too much just because I'm trying to make this quick and light just to check in um, but I I did make it to Crime Con in Orlando, and as always, very grateful for the opportunity. Looking forward to attend another one in 2024, and hopefully I will be speaking again at that one. This time I got a break and my anxiety did too, so it was lovely to just enjoy the experience even though it was very overwhelming for me very overwhelming um, I got to see my friend who I grew up with and haven't seen her since last year so that was awesomeness too what else has been going on my little herd of humans are getting so darn big and as much as I want and love more babies it's definitely not likely to happen unfortunately with everything happening in my life I can feel the tears coming but That could also be a blessing because I'm not sure if my body could hand another pregnancy with multiples and it's very likely that could happen. So that's that. Um, so far my kids are having a great school year. Kindergarten was a transition for my boys particularly. So on the kiddo side it's pretty calm they're crazy with one another um, but I think that has to do with just how my house is currently <laughs> um, so I um, have nothing planned when I do this that's why there's lots of ums as I'm scrambling my thoughts in my ADHD mind and overstimulated by my environment just being outside anyways but I thought since I had a moment of kind of quietness <laughs> and fresh air maybe that would be a great time to just hop on quickly and check in since I'm long long overdue doing that with you all uh, let's see if I could think of anything else. I started Christmas decorating early this year because I'm usually late, meaning right before Christmas, like a week if I'm lucky. And I enjoy the decorations. It takes a lot of effort physically out of my body with all of my issues I have to decorate um, by myself. So. I do it little by little and I include the kids as much as I can. And that always feels great because I know how special, I think I just blew a spit bubble. Anyways, how special it is um, to the kids to have the house all holidayed up. And I love to see the tree lit up uh, however, I do miss real trees because where I'm at, I don't purchase them anymore like I did as an adolescent buying 12-foot Christmas trees for 
200 300 dollars that was like huh, why would i do that it's once a year mom and now as a mom i'm like mm, now i see why i got in so much trouble so many times for doing that <laughs> um Okay, so there's like a few big family drama things happening in my family currently uh, that will impact my holiday season. On top of my already impacted holiday season, sorry, boogers, uh, because of the chilliness where I'm at. Chilliness of like 60 something degrees, so probably not that chilly maybe 50. Anyway, back to where I was. A uh, couple big things happening in my small world. Actually a few. And I am not comfortable yet discussing them. But I can say that I am um, healing and growing as an adult. I am stopping any generational traumas. I am hoping with myself and my kiddos, not to say our lives are perfect because right now we are definitely the opposite of that, but we are doing okay and I am healing and growing and it's so emotionally exhausting on top of my already fatigued mind and physical state to <clears throat> go on a healing journey. There's lots to address and deal with when doing so. And it's very painful to relive the most horrific times of your life. And some of those times are just within the past year and a half and just something I started talking about with only my counselor the last uh, few months ago so just a lot happening <coughs> But as my world calms down and I'm able to mentally focus on doing my videos for you guys more, I promise over time I will get better. <laughs> um, it's just unfortunately not the highest thing on my priority list right now, even though I wish it could be much higher than it is. Um, so yeah. I just want you guys to be mindful today and as you go forward in your lives that even though somebody looks okay on the outside, like myself, <laughs> just joking, um, inside that person may be feeling like shit, having a complete mental breakdown. Um, being victimized silently, have kids who, I don't know, have some sort of disability or are struggling with things and the parent feels helpless. I'm just naming things that people can be impacted <clears throat> by that others don't physically see. Not everything I'm saying pertains to me individually and lots of it does so just something to be more aware I guess and try to have a positive outlook and find things to be grateful for even in life's worst moments for you or worst moments in your life I guess I should say because gratitude can be everywhere if you're open to 
looking and absorbing it and then giving it back even from the most horrific situations can we find gratitude such as life and being able to grow as an individual sometimes we are part of other people's life lessons and i think that's something that would be beneficial like lots of other things to actually teach in public schools because it's very powerful when you kind of dissect that and think about it we are part of other people's life lessons and that could be a terrible one <laughs> something terrible happens to us um, our boundaries are not respected at all and we can still say that we're grateful for our life and we can see that that person maybe needs some help and maybe we do too and it gives us an opportunity to take time to self-reflect on our behaviors and somebody else's behaviors and from that you can have something positive so i hope that helps i don't know it ended up being a little longer because once i start rambling i'm great at it i hope you have a beautiful day make your day beautiful or evening night wherever you may be whenever you may hear this make your life beautiful and give someone a reason to smile and you find a reason for yourself as well. Bye.